All right, so the ladies' draw is officially out for Wimbledon, and there are some massive names playing, but of course there are a lot of names not playing because of the ban at Wimbledon. Let's go through the withdrawal list first. All right, so a lot of players are not playing at Wimbledon this year because of, of course, the Russians and Belarusians being banned. Starting with Zabalenka, she's not playing. Azarenka, also not playing. Kazakina, Pavlyuchenkova, Samsonova, Kudamatova, Alexandrova, Sasnovich, all of them are not playing. Gracheva, Potapova, Kalinskaya, are all out of the draw as well because they're either Belarusian or Russian. Then, of course, uh, some players that are not on the entry list and didn't choose to play. Svetlana, she's not playing because she's pregnant. Vondrusova is also out. Christian is also out. We have Sevilla Cannon. She's not playing. Fernandez also not playing. Osaka's out. Sharif and Konju are out of the draw. So that's the women's withdrawal list. Massive list. Let's start with the top of the draw. And Iga Fiontech, the number one seed. 32 seeds in this one, of course. The number one seed is Iga. She plays a qualifier in the first round. Uh, Fett in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Cartel or Kovinic in the second round. Then we've got Lou versus Diaz. Winner of that match takes on either Cornet or the number 27 seed Putin Seba in the second round. Now Putin Seba did beat Osaka at Wimbledon a few years ago. So maybe there's something there for Iga to worry about. Uh, then you got the number 18 seed Teichman taking on Tomanovic. Very fun matchup. Winner of that match takes on either... Harrison or Rus in the second round. Then we've got Golovic versus Pekovic. Winner of that match takes on either Zanevska or the number 13 seed Krejcikova in the second round. So this first section of the draw, the top section, Iga Swiatek doesn't want to play Krejcikova in the fourth round. Who knows, even though she hasn't played for a while, that'll be that'll be a tricky little matchup. Tomanovic is probably the biggest danger because Tomanovic made the quarterfinals of Wimbledon last year. But Iga's section... It has its dangers, but it should be manageable. But it's from the quarterfinals onwards where things get crazy. Let's go to the second section of the draw. So we've got Muguruza, the number nine seed, taking on Minin. Winner of that match takes on either Zheng or Stevens in the second round. Then we've got Bechtis versus Andrescu. Winner of that match takes on either Zhang or the 17th seed, Rabakina, in the second round. Then we've got the 30th seed, Rogers, taking on Martic. Winner of that match takes on either Kuchoba or Pagossi in the second round. Then we've got Masarova versus Dart. Winner of that match takes on either Vekic or the number eight seed Pagula in the second round. Now this section of the draw, I think it's the most open out of the uh, out of the bunch because Muguruth is not in good form. Pagula on grass, what does that look like? Andrescu's playing well on grass, made a final this week, so maybe she's the one to watch out for in this section. Rebakin has got a good grass court game. Rogers is always dangerous. So winner of this section, by the way, will play Iga Swiatek in the quarterfinals. So it could be Pagula versus Sviantec in the quarterfinals. It could be Muguruza Sviantec. But I think most likely, if form plays out, it's going to be Andrescu versus Sviantec in the quarterfinals, which is a fire quarterfinal matchup. Let's go to the third section of the draw. We've got Bedosa, the number four seed, taking on a qualifier in the first round. Chirico, winner of that match, takes on either Barra or Paquet in the second round. Then we've got Bogdan versus Yastremska. Winner of that match takes on either Polini or the number 25 seed Kvitova in the second round. Then we've got the 21st seed Georgie taking on Fretch. Winner of that match takes on either Pedersen or Schmidlova in the second round. Then we've got Flipkins versus the qualifier Forles or Forles. Winner of that match takes on either Mukova or the 16th seed Halep in the second round. That matchup is the best match of the uh, of that section of the draw for sure. Mukova versus Halep. Fire must watch first match. And also Halep, seems like she's a little bit injured as well. So keep an eye on that. But uh, look, this play players to watch out for. Obviously, Bedosa, Halep, uh, Mukova as a dangerous unseated player. And Kvitova is getting some form as well this week. So very interested to see how, who comes out of this part of the draw. The fourth section of the draw to wrap up the top half of the draw. You've got Goff, the 11th seed, taking on Ruse, one of our favorites in that first round. Winner of that takes on either Buzanescu or Shunk in the second round. Then we've got Brengel versus Davis. Winner of that plays either Wong or the number 20 seed Anissa Mova in the second round. Then we've got the 32nd seed Tormo taking on McHale. Winner of that match takes on either Serena Williams or Tan in the second round. Then we've got Borel versus Bolter. Winner of that match takes on either Martin Kova or the number six seed Pliskova in the second round. Serena could have a nice draw. She could make a fourth round if she avoids Pliskova because Serena is obviously one to watch out for. Pliskov is the finalist from last year. Very interested to see those two. Obviously, Goff's in good form. But I'd also be watching out for Bolter. Bolter seems to be doing some good things on grass as well. And being in, in you know, in the uh, in, in the UK, she'll have the, the crowd support as well. So, Anissa Mova maybe as well. So, there's a couple of players there in that section of the draw. But the top section or the top half of the draw is definitely the stacked part of the draw. And in the quarterfinals, we could be seeing Goff versus Halep. 
We could be seeing Sh uh, Williams versus Hellop. We could be seeing Pushkova versus Hellop. Or we could be seeing Badossa versus Williams, Badossa versus Pushkova, or Badossa versus uh, Goff if we go by the seeding. So very interested to see how that all plays out. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Collins taking on Pushkova. We know that match takes on either Bronzetti or Lee in the second round. Then we've got Siniakova versus a qualifier, Twilinska. Winner of that match takes on either Albon or the number 28 seed, Risk, in the second round. Then we've got the number 19 seed, Keys versus Doi. Winner of that match takes on either Kostruk or Swan in the second round. Then we've got Garcia versus Miyazaki. Winner of that match takes on either Van Udvank or the number 10 seed, Raducanu, in the second round. Raducanu's got a tricky draw because Van Udvank's tough. Garcia in the second round's really tough. And I think beat Andres, uh, beat uh, Raducanu this year as well. And then Keys, Risk. I mean, the Americans are all there as well. So Raducanu, very tough draw. I think I, I don't know if she's going to get that far because I think Garcia in that second round might get her. Let's go to the next section of the draw with uh, Kerber. Up the top here with the, the number 15 seed taking on Madjanovic. That's an interesting matchup. Winner of that takes on either Lynette versus Contrera in the second round. Then we've got Zedinchek versus Udvardi. Winner of that match takes on either Osorio or the 24th seed Mertens in the second round. Then we've got the 31 seed Kanepi taking on Parry. Winner of that match takes on either Towson or Honta Hontama in the second round. Then we've got, Man uh, then we've got Marino versus Kawa. Winner of that match takes on either Borkland or the number three seed Jabor in the second round. Jabor's got a nice draw. You know, she could get through to the fourth round uh, kind of easily. I mean, she could be playing qualifiers all the way through, potentially. So, and then play Kerber possibly in the fourth round. Jabor should make the quarters based on that. Uh, winner of this section of the draw, by the way, could be playing against uh, Daniel Collins. So we could get Jabor versus Collins. We could be getting Jabor versus Raducanu, potentially in the quarterfinals. Then we've got number seven, uh, the seventh uh, section of the draw. We've got the number five seed, Zachary versus Hives. Winner of that match takes on either Savile or Tom uh, Tomova in the second round. Then we've got Sharma versus Maria. Winner of that match takes on either Krunic or the 26th seed, Kisteya, in the second round. Then we've got the 22nd seed, Trevison, taking on Chucky Oretto. Winner of that match takes on either Gorgodas or Bagu in the second round. Then we've got Wickmeyer versus Zhu. Winner of that match takes on either Dodden or the 12th seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. So Ostapenko Sakari, fourth round. Potentially, that could be happening. No one else really stands out to me on that in the draw. Maybe some of the Aussies, but again, I don't have much confidence in in, <laughs> in them, unfortunately. Bottom section of the draw, we've got Benchich, the number 14 seed, taking on Wong. Winner of that match takes on either Corpatch or Watson in the second round. Then we've got in uh, then we've got Inglis versus Gelfi. Winner of that match takes on either Juvan or the 23rd seed Hadid Meyer in the second round. Then we've got the 29th seed Kalanina versus Bondaire. Winner of that match takes on either Burridge or Sharenko in the second round. Then we've got Niemeyer versus Wong. Winner of that match takes on either Pera or the number two seed Contivate in the second round. So Hadidmeyer, Benchich, they're the ones to watch out for. Contivate, I haven't seen uh, on grass yet, so I don't know what to expect from her. But Benchich, Hadidmeyer, they're the two that should get through this part of the draw. And like I said, the bottom section of the draw is really open. I mean, we could be getting anybody coming out of that part of the draw. And the potential quarterfinal matchups, we could be seeing Benchich take on Zachary. We could be seeing Benchich take on Ostapenko. We could be seeing Ostapenko take on Hadid Meyer or uh, Zachary versus Hadid Meyer or Zachary versus Contivate. Ostapenko versus Contivate. So the bunch of matchups there that could be happening, but now it's time for your prediction. Who's gonna win this tournament? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the description below if you're watching this later, who's gonna win this tournament? I think Igor Sviantek, she has a nice draw until the second week. Second week's a nightmare. I think the bottom section or the bottom half of the draw is where you want to be. I think Ons Jabor might have the best draw out of the top guns. But uh, WTA, anything can happen. Who the hell knows? Uh, but let me know in the chat. What do you reckon? Who is going to win Wimbledon 2022 for the ladies?